Ashley, this all happened on a residential street. Neighbors say those involved aren't from around there, and they are shocked to hear the whole story. It was just very traumatic. I mean, I was horrified. It was like that, and then somebody could just leave the scene. Three o'clock Sunday afternoon, neighbors heard the commotion and found a man pinned under a car on Maiden Choice Lane in Arbutus. Police say the man, 52 year old Joseph Dawson, died at the hospital. We just um, heard the police sirens, the fire truck, and um, the police presence in the crime scene. And um, the only thing that the neighbors had told us was that there was a body underneath the car. And um, the driver had abandoned the vehicle. Police arrested 25 year old Katie Foster and charged her with first degree murder. We do not believe this is an accident. It's an intentional act committed by uh, Miss Foster. According to charging documents after her arrest, Foster told police that she smoked cocaine with Dawson Sunday afternoon when he propositioned her for sex. She stated she declined and got into another man's car. Foster told investigators Dawson chased them in his car, then got out into a physical fight with the other man on Maiden Choice Lane. Investigators say Foster then jumped into Dawson's car and hit the accelerator. We don't necessarily know the intent. We just know that the female got behind the wheel of the car, um, subsequently hitting the uh, victim, dragging him a little bit of a distance and then leaving the scene. Documents state she then jumped into the other man's car and took off, leaving Dawson under his own car. With the help of cell phone and surveillance video, they tracked her down and arrested her. Neighbors say they don't know what to make of the whole turn of events. It's just traumatic. I mean, it's just a sad situation. Somebody lost their life. Foster is being held without bail and police say it's possible charges could be filed against the other man involved in the incident. Reporting live in Towson, Kim Dacey, WBAL-TV 11 News.